One of my best Windows 10 features is projected this PC where I connect my phone to my laptop wirelessly and control the phone from my Windows laptop. I use this feature frequently for many reasons like testing Android ROMs for wireless display bugs or mirroring a phone with a broken screen to my laptop. To access this feature, click on the new notification icon on the Windows taskbar to access this feature. Click on connect. Click on project to this PC and you're good to go. However, Microsoft removed this project to this PC feature after the Windows 10 version 1903 update. I still can wrap my head around why they removed it. The good news is it is an optional feature and in this video, I'll show you how to enable it and enjoy this rich native future of Windows 10. Okay, welcome back again to Smart Depot. The Windows 10 project of this PC feature was fun and an essential tool in my workflow until the Windows 10 version 1903 upgrade. Microsoft removed this fantastic feature from Windows 10 1903 upgrade and when you click on the connect icon, the project to this PC option is gone. If you watch up to this point, it's up to the channel who we'll make our channel feature rich. So click on the subscribe button, turn the notification bell icon, like and share this video. Thank you. The project of this PC features allows you to share your Android phone screen or any other device with screen mirroring or wireless display to project to your Windows PC or laptop. And that comes in handy when I test Android custom ROMs or project my Android phone to my laptop. Nevertheless, after Microsoft removed it, you can still see this project at this PC menu by going to settings, clicking on display, scrolling down to project to this PC and clicking on it. Here you will see clearly that the project to this PC is now an optional feature that you have to download and install. To install or enable this feature, click on optional features, click on add a feature, type wireless display in the search box, select wireless display and click on install. I mean, this is just 1.16 MB. Why did they even remove it? Please note that this installation requires an internet connection, else the installation will fail. Another thing that will make the installation fail is your connection being set to a metered connection. To check whether this is happening to you, go to your network properties and make sure to turn off metered connection. After installation is successful, I'll recommend you reboot your system. After reboot, click on new notification icon, click on connect and you will see the option project of this PC. Click on it and it will open up more settings for the project to this PC. Now you can open your Android phone, go to screencast or mirroring or wireless display option depending on the phone you're using. Uh, you may need to enable wireless display if it's your first time from the three dot menu on the top right. Select your PC name from the list of devices, give it the proper permissions from your Windows PC and you are good to go. That's it. If you have any questions or challenges, please feel free to drop them in the comment section and I will do my best to answer all of them. And until I see you in the following video, peace to our world. Subscribe. I'll see you.